This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, my name is Alex. Gotta be, it's in the big red letters. The name of the show is The Ramble and we're here until midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, there he is. Well, I can't see him. You can't see him. The reason you can't see him is because he's a Luddite. Hello there, Larry. Yes, yeah, so hiding from the law. That's the re- main reason I do this. Yeah, so. yeah, these, the, very few people that I can uh, call, talk to that I, I can't see because today you have things like Zoom. You know what Zoom is? Have you heard of Zoom? I've heard of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. The Zoom, <laughs> as your mother would say. Hey, the hey, Zoom. you doing the Zoom? <laughs> Why is that that we that, that people do that the older people oh the, the internet uh, you know the uh, the uh, uh, the Facebook or, uh, or bar, Bart they used to call it the Bart the Bart exactly I never I never could understand that I just never made sense but do you know the one <laughs> you know the one that's really difficult for me though it is not the Ukraine. It is Ukraine. Yes. And uh, every now and then I have a hard time. I suddenly go, the Ukraine. Oh, whoops, Ukraine. Do you find yourself doing that? I always call it Ukraine. Yeah, the Ukraine sounds like you would call that like if it were a a series of uh, countries melded together. You would call it the. But it's it's just a separate country. Exactly. Exactly. So it's Ukraine. But I think the Russians, to be nasty, call it the Ukraine. Mm-hmm. It'd be like saying the California. Yes. I'm going to the California. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway. How you doing, Larry? Well, you know, normally you and I are very pessimistic, but I actually feeling very optimistic about something that happened the past week. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't tell me. You found a career? <laughs> no. Oh, we gave up on that a long time ago. Oh, okay. Well, what, what's optimistic here? Well, it looks like they're going to do away with the time change. Yes, but they're doing it the wrong way. It should just be, we're not going to daylight saving time. And then everybody could adapt to that. You, you get what I'm saying? I don't know mm-hmm. why we said the daylight saving time, which is not the real... It's not the real time. Sidereal time or whatever the term is. Not the real time is now becoming the standard time, Mm -hmm. which puts us off, I think, from the rest of the world, doesn't it? It does, but uh, it's I just hate changing the clock. I just pick one. Well, that's fine, but I think it should be the standard time. Should be the time. Why they Mm -hmm. suddenly said, we're going to daylight saving time. That's another one, by the way. It's not daylight savings time. It's daylight saving time. You, right? You're right. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, are you, I, I would just think that, um, you know, we would go with that as opposed to daylight saving time because daylight saving time is kind of a false time. It's not the real physical Go by the stars, whatever time. So why don't you just say, okay, we're going to go with regular standard time. And when we get to the summer, all jobs can say, oh, you come to work uh, an hour earlier or something like that. Right? And you get right. ho- you go home an hour earlier and then you have more sunlight to do things in. I don't know why... You know, it's somehow it's going to be really weird, I think, in the middle of winter, having, for instance, what do we do? We spring ahead, right? Mm-hmm. So we move the clocks ahead an hour. So really... So it's going to be it, very dark in the morning during the winter. Yes, in the middle of winter. And then at night, the the the, uh, the sun won't go down until, uh, oh, I don't know, 10 o'clock or something like that? I mean... It just it doesn't work for me. 
It doesn't work, and I don't think it works for you either, does it? I'd rather have uh, the normal time, but uh, I I just want to get away from this change in the clocks. It's so insane. Twice a year, it's just. Well, here's the wonderful thing about technology. However, may I please present this to you, since you you are you eschew it. And you uh, love technology. That, well, I don't love technology. I've gotten to the point where I actually hate technology. That I, I, I feel that everything you have can be used for good, it can be used for evil. And what's happened with the Internet is it's basically been used for evil. All right? So the technology isn't all that good. It's also we rely too much on the technology. How many times do you call someplace uh, because you've got some issue with something and she says to you the following, my computer won't let me do that. Right. <laughs> and you're trying to do something very simple, but her computer will not let her do that. One well, other evil, I, I, I talk about this a lot lately. Here's a real evil of technology. Have you ever gotten mail from your oven? From my oven? <laughs> yes. No. I have. I just got a new oven. Okay, and in it, it has built-in Wi-Fi, right? Wow. So I, can, I keep getting messages from it like, your oven is now self-cleaning. Your oven is now uh, doing this. Or when Marjorie's cooking, the oven is now baking. Comes up on my watch. But the other day, I get a piece of email, and the email is from my oven, <laughs> saying, here's how much you baked, here's how much you broiled, here's how much you used the convection. And I went, I I'm sorry, I, I feel, I kind of feel bad. I every time I go into the kitchen now, I'm paranoid my oven is watching me. Certainly you listening. You know, uh, is is this all needed, you know? I mean, for you, obviously not, because you've lived without it. Yeah, but, uh... I don't know, everything's collecting data on us. Aren't we drowning in data? Well, you're not because you aren't connected to data. <laughs> I mean, you still have a flip phone. But when you go out, aren't you uh, hit by cameras? And Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, I mean, there's no, uh, there's no uh, privacy any longer. The Nobody only, seems to care either. They just kind of gave it up. The only privacy I seem to get is in my own home. You know, I think here I can turn everything off if I want to. Can you turn Alexa off? Uh, yeah, I can. I do, just press a button and turn her off. And I can also prevent her her camera from being used. <laughs> Sounds like Hal, 1980, 2001. Well, it is. You know, but what I'm saying is, is that the technology that I envisioned was a wonderful world in which everything was better, and it's not better. Today, I get a call from somebody who wants to tell me that my in my uh, repair service on my car isn't up or something like that, and I don't own a car. All right, but I get yeah. all these calls about my car. I get those too. Well. Is that using technology for good? No, it's robocalls, which I thought were illegal, but... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Remember the do not call list? How long did that last? Uh, well, I, I signed up for it, but I, I kept getting called. You know, yeah. the reason for that is is that they can only stop calls that are done within the United States, but none of these calls are done from the United States. They're done from foreign countries. And even though it comes up having, a, like in your case, a 415 area code, that's spoofed, as they call it. Yeah. I don't know how that works, and I don't know how to do it. Uh, and if I knew how to do it, I still wouldn't do it, because I consider that's a bad thing to do. So, Well, it let us down. It had such hopes with uh, the Internet. And... Well, I've gotten to the point where I just have gone, you know, all the this wonderful world that I dreamed was the future. I mean, the future is now. I'll give you another example of something of the future. This has nothing to do with technology. I think you can appreciate this. Do you remember the city of the future? How it looked? You know? 
and there was all these gleaming buildings and so on and so forth. Oh, stop it. That's my my watch going off. See? My watch just went off. <laughs> um, and they had the, uh, had the elevated highways. Yeah, well, I look out, and the believe it or not, the, the landscape or the skyscape or the skyline of New York has completely changed even since I moved in here, and I can see it from here. All right? I may not be able to in a while because they'll build old tall buildings in front of me. But what they started doing is they started putting up these pencil-thin buildings. That's what I heard, these really thin buildings. Yeah, they go like a mile high. They're like a mile high, but they're very thin. The reason they're thin is they found a bodega they bought, and then they built it on that footprint. <laughs> you know? And and they are... I can't decide whether they're ugly or just futuristic. So I, I don't know. I think they're ugly. I think they're I think they're ugly, uh, and slowly also they're building buildings impeding my view, which I have a great view of Manhattan from here, you know, just wonderful view, and um, so that's that's going to go the way of all flesh. I mean, I just don't see where all this modernization, and I may sound like a forty-two year old fart, okay, but I don't see where all this modernization is particularly helping us i mean is has has the existence of facebook helped us no i don't think so i can't think of any function that facebook does which has positive value on my life you know outside of the fact that i have five thousand friends most of which don't even know me you know so they've also by the way cheapened the term friend yeah, that's quite a friend. <laughs> yeah, you know, a friend was somebody you knew. You've known him for years. You went to school with him. Uh, hey, uh, things are bad for you. Here, I'll loan you some money. Oh, I'm bad for me. I'll lo- he'll he'll loan me some money. Uh, that's a friend. Okay, a friend is not somebody who simply can sign up to be your friend. <laughs> and they've cheapened the word friend. And it also makes uh, people fight and hate each other on social media. It's just uh, pretty much a social war. Yeah. I mean, is there any positive value, folks? Let me ask you this. To Twitter. If Twitter did not exist right now, how would the world change? Maybe for the better, actually. But be a lot uh, less bickering, yeah. A lot less bickering. But outside of that, I mean, what does it add to our society? And the answer, I believe, is zero. Absolutely zero. Yes, it's not a plus. And Facebook, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Now, YouTube, I like. Not only because my show is on YouTube live, but because YouTube, I can go to YouTube and get an uh, uh, just a tutorial on anything. You know? Uh, yeah, I heard you can you can actually learn how to fix your own car if you got YouTube. If you got YouTube, there was a guy. There was this show, this show called Grand Design in England, that where they build houses. People are building houses, and they follow them building their house. Okay, and this one couple built their house themselves using nothing but YouTube information. You know, how to pour concrete, how to do this, how to do that. Now, to me, YouTube has a real value in that respect. Yeah. You know, uh, 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 as an educational tool or whatever. Of course, it's not vetted, so you don't know that the guy is telling you how to pour concrete really knows how to pour concrete. <laughs> you know. <Yeah. laughs> you may find yourself with a big slab of crap, you know. But, I mean... It, it, but outside of that, I mean, what are the, do these things have any value? You know, and people so rely on them, you know. I mean, how many people have Facebook pages and how many times a day do they check that Facebook page? I know people that are literally on there posting stuff every 10 minutes. Every the entire ten. day. You know what I hate? People who go out to dinner and photograph their food. 
Yeah, that's always a big one, yeah. Yeah, and they put that. Yeah, by the way, folks, uh, technology has made it possible now for us to take a picture of our food at dinner and put it up in a place where everybody can see it. Wow, what an advance for civilization. I mean, come on. Facebook has absolutely no reason for existence. Uh, and, Maybe it'll die someday. Oh, it'll die, but it'll be replaced by something more disgusting. You know, I mean, already there are certain things that have replaced other things. I mean, uh, for instance, you have Zoom. And Zoom is really, I think Zoom may actually be positive in a lot of ways. Because Zoom seems to be able to operate in even a war zone. I mean, uh, Zelensky, when he's on TV and they see him at the, you know, at the, in Congress and whatever, is doing it through Zoom. So, you know, I think there's a positive value to Zoom. I think that right there, because you are seeing each other, it's far more communicative than a lot of the other, like Twitter and things like that. Because you actually have to deal with people face to face. You would know about that because no. you don't have any kind of thing that can do Zoom. I know a bunch during the pandemic. A lot of comics did shows on Zoom, although apparently it doesn't really no, translate. No, very I wouldn't. Well. I look. I'm I, I'm the big comedy maven, right? Do you think I decided to get you and uh, and and Kravitz and everything to do a, uh, on the air uh, comedy session? No. No, because it doesn't work. No. You know? I mean, it's it's a certain art form that demands a stage and an audience. Okay? And you can't, you can't do it on Zoom. I mean, you can try, but it's not going to be terribly successful. Yeah. No. So, but, uh, well, I think it started with uh, TV was a precursor of the Internet. I remember when TV first came out, didn't they say... Uh, this is going to make people so much more intelligent. <laughs> well, I mean, again, you know, it's how you, it's it, okay. You're handed the tool, and it's how you use that tool. You can take a shovel and you can use it to dig a hole, and then maybe build a building where you dug the hole, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can haul off and hit somebody over the head and kill them, <laughs> right? You yeah. Know, so, so it's how you use your that tool, and I just think I'm, uh, the theory of diminishing results that given new tools, society will embrace them for all the wrong reasons. Does that make sense? Absolutely. But then again, you and I are pessimists, aren't we? We're pessimists, and then people hate us. I'm trying to think. Am I a pessimist? I mean, I've always been. I think you're, uh, you and I are, I think we're realists, and uh, I think most it's people realist. don't want to hear how bad things are, so that's why they don't like what they call pessimists. Yeah. I mean, are people listening to us right now talking about the internet going, oh, listen to those two old farts, you know? They, they don't know what they're talking about. But, you know, I mean, uh, even before Al Gore did, I helped invent the internet. So, you know... <laughs> <laughs> yes, you had more than Al did, I think. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, I was always in there in the very... You remember me. Every, oh, yeah. Every piece of technology I embraced. I was the first guy I ever knew that had a videotape recorder that I could take out and take pictures with. Go. I remember when it. you had that. Yeah, the, uh, this must have been... Oh, well, this... The, 83? The, you weren't here in New York when I had a, a, a portable machine that weighed about... 20 pounds that I could put over my shoulder and a big clunky camera that hooked to it with a cable. And, oh, there, they're calling me again. I, I wonder what this is going to be about. Hold on a second. Let me turn. Let me see here. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello? What? Yes, it's Amazon. Oh, this is Amazon. Oh, you want to get into the building. Okay. Yes, would you bring it up to will you bring it up please to the eighth floor? No problem. Okay, thank you. All right. No problem. Okay. Uh th this is a very uh, nice actually. We just here we are we're talking about all the horrible things technology does and I just answered my phone and my watch because Amazon wanted to deliver a, 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 a air conditioner I ordered and wanted to know if they wanted if I wanted them to bring it up. 
That was good timing. See? So there is a moment in which technology works. A rare and, positive moment. <laughs> well, I, I got to tell you, you know, for all that I'm saying nasty about technology, I love this Apple Watch for exactly that reason. People who I know can message me on it. You know, I can do a lot of things. It's, it, it's kind of changed my life in a lot of ways. It's uh, like the Dick Tracy two-way wrist radio. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something I did in the house here. Um, again, Alex has to embrace technology, right? So what I did is a lot of my lights, like I go, Echo. Oh, wait a minute, hold on a second. Echo, turn on office. And then all the lights in the office go on. See? Mm -hmm. Now, is that bad or good? Uh, I wouldn't. I would just get up and turn it on myself. It wouldn't help me. Well, yeah, that means I have to go across the room and turn the light on. Here, I don't have to do that. Does that make sense? Yes, but you're not an invalid. I'm close to it. <laughs> <laughs> No, but here's the thing. Marjorie, when I first put in that situation, got all really, what are you doing that for? Oh, we can just go turn the lights on. Now, every time she wants to turn on a light in the house, she talks to the, 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 uh, the Alexa and turns it on. And she can't live without it. So what we do is we come up on a piece of technology that, hey, we got along without it, you know? I mean, I used to get along without all the phones and everything. I had a phone with a cord and a dial, right? Right. I got along with that phone. I thought it was a wonder of the age, a telephone. I can do it and call. Uh, well, I couldn't call California very with much clarity, but, you know, the point I'm making is, is that we lived without the new technology, but once we got the new technology, we were dependent upon it. And it did make our lives appreciably better. But lately, technology isn't making it appreciably better. I mean, my life is not better because I can turn on the light with my voice. But Marjorie is so, now she, every light she turns on in the house, she, hello? We use the term ECHO, I can't say it otherwise. Uh, she lights up uh and and uh uh you know we do that and um uh it it uh it just you know it become you become so used to it that uh and actually i can turn the lights on in this room from any of my alexas by the way you know how many of them i have in this house probably a zillion i have five of them wow <laughs> and uh a couple of uh, most of them I have video in them, so I can actually make a call, for instance, and, and talk to somebody and see them on it. Um, on the other hand, I'll t I will tell you that I do think that the Alexa system, which you know about, right? You know it exists, mm -hmm. all right? Right. Uh, is maybe one of the best little inventions that they've they've had because it's useful in the home. You can use it as to turn on lights, to start your oven. I can do that with the oven. Um, you, you can use it for a lot of reasons. Uh, and I can do it from anywhere in the house. So there's something positive, I think, about that little invention. All right? Well. Yeah. But uh, I, 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 you're, you're, you seem to just be afraid of technology. That seems to be what I see. You seem to have a fear that you won't be able to use it. Hey, why should I? I? He, yeah, I don't. Uh, things don't work well, and then I throw them and break them. <laughs> you throw them and yes, break. Yes, I get very frustrated Do with the really? inanimate objects that don't work. Can you name something you broke recently because of the of it? Uh, yeah. I, let's see. I've thrown several transistor radios against the wall. Uh, yeah. I once threw a stereo out my window here. Really? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Okay. Yeah, I, I throw things. So. Oh well, uh, he, he's a he's a thrower, folks. That's he, why I can't get married. <laughs> he's a destroyer of technology. <laughs> Do you have a feeling maybe one night you'd be lying in bed and all of a sudden all your devices in your apartment will be lying surrounding your bed and saying you killed <laughs> you killed one of us. 
<laughs> now we're coming for you. That'd be a great. Uh, that'd be a great uh, movie. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. Uh, yeah. You heard it here first, folks. Hey, let's uh, let's talk next week. How's that? We will. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Larry. I don't care about technology bubbles. I'm not going to get the, a phone that is a smartphone. I'm not going to get a TV that's a smart TV. I but I'm smart and I don't need those smart things. <laughs> Brown. Thanks, bubbles. Thank you, Alex. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Now in its seventh year, talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, here we go. Yeah, and once again tonight, nobody is waiting to go on. Jeff Stein was there for a couple of minutes and then he disappeared. So, uh, I'm you know it, I know a lot of this has to do with the uh, with the basketball crap that's going on. But you know, I it's it's enough for me to give up the ghost on all of this, um, and uh, you know, so I I don't know. I'm just I'm really frustrated and I'm insulted and uh, uh, everything else. Okay. Uh, last night we actually had a pretty good show to tell you the damn truth, uh, but it all had to do with. Uh, 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 the fact that we just had a nice group of people. Well, we got a couple of people here. Uh, Jeff Stein is here once again, and so is uh, Josh Wheeler, who is always always can be counted on on a Friday night. Uh, by the way, uh, Jeff, you got to move your face into the picture, and uh, yeah, move your face into the picture. There we go. And then you need to like take a Kleenex or something and clean your lens because it's really it's really foggy it it yeah yeah and then we don't have audio on you right now either so i don't know anyway let me uh, let me do this so that you can see what's going on see see how foggy he is i mean he looks like he's 18 again but uh oh is uh no Josh? no turn that off turn that I'm off trying to. Oh, there you are i can hear you uh, but, but you got to yeah. turn yeah. off. You got to turn off the audio. Got to turn off the audio. Face into the picture. There we go. And then you, you got to turn off the audio. Your lens. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, Jeff, turn off your. Kill your browser. Just kill the browser. I have audio on you. I guess somebody will now just. I don't have all the time to stop it. Anyway, let me. Just, this one. Oh, oh, well, that's that's one way of doing it. Hi, Phil. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining me tonight. And same thing with Brian. Brian, are you not interested in basketball? I would think you are. Uh, Warriors ended a, an hour ago and they lost. That's the only basketball I care about. Okay, so so I've got you for the rest of the final five, right? Yeah. Or final still... is it final five or four or three or two or one or final, what? Final four. Is Phil staying here though? Yeah, if you yeah. want. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was a guest. I just turned it on. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you used you last night, Phil. Thanks a lot. Well, uh, you know, I went to sleep early, and I didn't realize that there was a problem until I woke up and listened to a few minutes of the show. But it was already after nine uh, mm -hmm. that I um, d discovered the issue. And, you know, I was listening for a couple of minutes, and Alex said that nobody had called. Well, you know, you and Josh um, are right. nobody. I know your guys aren't chopped liver. We had 50% we had fifty more broads on the show than we usually do. Yeah. Well, yes, because we had uh, we had oh, Pamela. Oh, different. I'm uh, sorry, yeah. Pam yeah. and it, Tiffany. It, and it, and it Tiffany. was nice. Yeah. Oh, here comes Tony. Here comes Tony. Yeah, Tony said he fell asleep. He left me a message. He fell asleep. How many messages? I'm sure he left you many now, messages. Now here's how the message went. I, ding, fell, ding, asleep, ding. Right, Tony? <laughs> no, he leaves a minute at least. Oh, really? He may leave like 10 of those. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, listen, Tony, let me explain to you that these wonderful things we have are called uh, um, instant messaging is not the same as a telephone. You you know, it's not, not we're going to sit down and talk for a half hour. 
okay? It's a quick message to say, I'm either coming over to your house or I'm not coming over to your house or uh, I'm sick today, talk to you later, I you know. I was tired this morning, I was. I want to warn Brian that I'm getting on the show. I do, the, <laughs> I do the texting too much instead of like one message. I just keep, t- it's like a bad habit. I have to admit Well, that well you, better, you better stop it. I mean, it doesn't matter to me because I blocked you I already. You, can, you can't ever message me. You could be dying I, and need help and I wouldn't be able to I help you. It. I'll have to call Shecky. Tell Alex I'm not. I think he's blocked you too. Uh, You know. Well, now Al, uh, what's his name? Tony says to me today, "Tell Alan to unblock me." Yeah. So I I said today, Alan got hit by a train, so he can't. (laughs) Well, he just just got hit by a bus. I said, "Well, he's not lucky." (laughs) You know, I was going to ask you something, Alex, and and even Phil and Brian. I was watching a documentary. Somebody sent it to me on in San Francisco, that Tenderloin district is dangerous, it looks like. Man, that's know. where Larkin lives. That's where Larkin, Larkin yeah, lives. Yeah, I'm just going to mention that. As Chappelle says, it's not too tender in that area. <laughs> it always was a bad part of town. Was it bad out back It was always a bad part of town. It you, wasn't? You know, it was I mean. Our, it was our skid row. It, yeah, it was our skid oh, row. Yeah. 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 But it's right next to Union Square, too, right? So it's sort of right on the border of a nice area, you know, with Tiffany's and Macy's and all those stores, and then you go a few blocks and yeah, you got yeah. Tiffany's, of, which is the store by the store by the way that uh, that uh, Brian's. What is that? That Brian's uh, uh, wife owns. She owns yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, Tiffany's. I wouldn't be calling this show. I'd be calling <laughs> Joe Logan or something. <laughs> you know, Tiffany's was owned by Hallmark Cards. Really. Yeah, I don't know if they still own them, but they they were owned by Hallmark. Hmm. But not they weren't started by Hallmark. No, no, no. no. Uh, uh, Lewis Lewis something Tiffany started it in the eighteen hundreds. Yeah, and uh, I think you know I, I I don't think it was owned by Lewis Hallmark. Lewis Comfort Tiffany. That's well, his when name. When I first Lewis came Comfort to New York, it wasn't owned by Hallmark. Uh, yeah. It was a while ago, but uh, maybe. You know, I mean, it was in the last thirty years. Hmm. To start New York. I got to. I got to look that up because I don't believe you. Yeah, well, at <laughs> one time, <laughs> Tiffany was owned by Hallmark. Everybody yeah. want a drink? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me just go to my. Um, yeah, just say was Tiffany's owned by Hallmark Cards? Is Tiffany's? <laughs> or was? I, I don't know if hmm. it still is. Is Tiff? Oh, okay, it's two Fs. Tiffany owned uh, owned by Hallmark. So far, nothing's coming up, so I don't think it's. Oh, so. It was a ways. Of, it, it was at least in nineties. Tiffany Sterling, my uh, uh, Does Tiffany jewelry? <clears throat> Have a hallmark. Who owns Tiffany's? Here we go. Yeah. Uh, Tiffany and Company, parent organization. Uh, what is Tiffany and Company hallmark? No, that's a hallmark would be the, the thing they yeah. stamp into the yeah. silver. Uh, no, it's not owned by hallmark. It was owned by hallmark. No, it's not. And it wasn't owned by Hallmark. Here, At here, one here. time, oh, it on, was everybody. owned by Hallmark. Re- re- ready, Brian? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I gotta go get Mark. I'll find it. I'll, I, you know, I'll find it. Yeah, you'll find it. Hey, Josh, how are you? Good, how are you doing? You know what? I wanted to ask you something. I wanted to, uh, somebody mentioned I should have met. If you called last night, I should ask you. But I'm here you are tonight, and I'm going to ask you. What about... The, the, how do you feel how the Republicans handled the Supreme Court nominee? Wasn't that embarrassing? Yeah, some of it was. It was pretty dumb. Yeah, I mean, if you have uh, some sort of disagreement, you know, philosophically, or or you just want to explore that, I mean, I think that's perfectly fine. But uh, you know, there are other things that I, you know, I just didn't see as. It just it's not really pertinent um or useful so it's obviously you know it's just 
you know that the the best thing they could probably do i mean i know this is you know against our our american democracy or whatever but if they were to not put those on television mm-hmm. um everyone would basically just say yeah i don't have any questions right? <laughs> yeah you're right you know, you're she can leave right. right yeah you know so <laughs> They're, yeah, they're all I mean, doing they're, it for they're show. Okay. They're doing it for their election this year, or they're doing yeah. it because they plan on running for president, and they want this as right. a as a uh, uh, as a soundbite. Uh, yeah. But you know, yeah, I mean, where right. else can you get you know thirty uninterrupted minutes on you know nine channels? But it seems like they all got <laughs> on the same bandwagon. Oh, let's ask her about pornography. You know, right. uh, you know, does she support pornography? I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, it, it just it made no sense yeah. at all. And right. I don't think I, I even think a lot of Republicans were embarrassed by it because those are three of the most embarrassing people, Republicans in Congress. You know. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, I just I don't think that stuff is, uh, you know, it's not healthy and it's not. I mean, I, I just, I mean, it doesn't accomplish anything that's genuine. I mean, it accomplishes, I suppose, you know, some political things, mm-hmm. um, you know, in the mudslinging area or just cheap points or, you know, uh, fundraising or whatever, but it doesn't really break down anything, you know, for the, for the judge, um, y- you know, and for the, uh, you know the qualifications of the job how how you would do the job you know it's it's just it's stupid really and i mean you know and i don't care what party it was this time or whatever you know overall all of these nomination processes in the last you know certainly the last five or six have just turned into real sideshows and it's a real shame you know i mean all of them have i mean you know this particular case was Republican members of the Senate, you know, acting a fool. But I'm not going to say that we haven't had the same thing happen previously, you know, from other senators, you know. I mean, you know, I just, I don't, I don't care for it at all. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just, it's out of hand and it's not doing any good. You know, the, you know, the damn things are on TV. I mean, I think they should be open, but maybe instead of putting it on, you know, CNN or whatever, maybe we just keep it to C-SPAN. And if it's something you care about, you go watch it, you know. But I mean, these, these would, guys wouldn't are, they still know, act up because the they're, even even being on C-SPAN, wouldn't they use it as a forum to act up? Oh, they, I'm sure they still would. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure that wouldn't fix the problem. And look, you know, I mean, you know, that's sort of a joke. I mean, realistically, we never really want to curtail our democracy or our access to lawmakers we certainly do have and should have the right to see uh, and monitor everything that they say and do in in these kind of proceedings you know and we would never want to give that up it's just a shame that they have turned it into what they have and you know the reason that they have turned it into what they have is because we have allowed them to. Would I mean, you I'm say, never would you say that the Democrats process. were just as guilty of the same thing with the Kavanaugh hearings, for instance? Yeah, I don't like the way they did that, you know, at all. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I, I'm not saying that I think that he's a, a great guy or whatever, and he should have, you know, gotten a free pass. I mean, I think he's obviously a, a, a not a very decent human being, and I'm not very fond of him, you know, in particular. But overall the proceedings have become just i mean they're ridiculous i don't know of a better word to use for it they become ridiculous and i can i can guarantee you that if there is a a republican president uh, and it doesn't matter who it is i mean any republican Mm -hmm. you know three years from now or five years from now or whatever and they nominate even a decently qualified person who turns out not to have all these allegations or whatever it'll still turn into a sideshow I mean, it, it just it just will. Well, also, I mean, it, it makes you be very careful about who you put up for nomination because anybody yeah. who has even any kind of questionable background, right. you know, uh, yeah. is is a problem. But what, what do you think of her? I think that she's terrific, to tell you the damn truth. Oh, I think she's certainly, yeah, I mean, she's qualified enough, you know. Yeah. I mean, if you have... If you have some issue with her judicial philosophies in some spots, well, then so be it. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's life and the judicial process. I mean, you know, you're not going to have any sort of 100% agree. There is no perfect 
candidate. You know, I said at the beginning that, you know, I, I, I don't care for, you know, the, the president nominating her and saying, oh, she's somebody who brings people together or whatever. It's like, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, that's, that's an arbitrator mm-hmm. that, you know, um, that's a negotiator who comes in and helps the union in a business solve their dispute. That's not a judge. A judge says, this is what the law says, and this is what we're going to do. Mm-hmm. And if one of you leaves dancing a jig and the other leaves in tears, well, I mean, that's so be it. That's not my, that's not really my concern. I, you know, I can't factor that into things. So, you know, like I said before, I get why he says things like that. Cause it sounds really good on the nightly news or whatever, but you know, she's done a nice job. I mean, you know, it's just one of those things where, I'm sure she knows and has been coached that you're going to have to, if you want to have this dream job for 30 years, you're going to have to basically sit there for 16 hours and, and, and put up a beam. try not to fucking punch anyone in the face. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, which is probably difficult, yeah. but overly necessary. I mean, uh, know, I uh, wish that it wasn't. Okay. And now the other question, of course, facing the Supreme Court is the current Clarence Thomas debacle. Yeah. What do you think about that? I mean, there are people who well, say. Well, I mean, he, look, I, I I get why everyone is going to be up in arms about that, and there's four or five editorials in the Washington Post right now about it, and I understand. But you, I, I still, I mean, I haven't seen any proof or even anything in that area that justice. Thomas was involved in any of that. I mean, well, they, again, do, they do say I, I don't they subscribe do say, to like a yeah. newsletter where I'm yeah. a fan of his or anything, but I'm just saying well, if his wife yeah. is a loony bin, then his wife is a loony bin. Yeah, but, I mean, I, but, but there are some questions about the way he has ruled recently. For instance, on Trump turning over the, his, his papers, he was the only judge who said he should. Okay. Yeah. So that makes people a little suspicious. And I think that the fact that people get suspicious over these things is every reason for him to think about resigning. You know. Well, I, I, I don't. I mean, if people get suspicious about it, then they get suspicious about it. Good for them. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, if if we had if we had some sort of real indication that you know he went home and at dinner his wife said, "Now you're going to rule this way," and then, "Oh yes, dear." You know, then yeah. I think well, there that were two occasions problem, in which, in, I, I, in which, I don't, you one, know. one of them was the one that I mentioned. There was also uh, one other situation. I'm trying to remember that he was uh, that he voted a certain way uh, that was suspicious as well. When everybody else was voting the same way, a different. Well, way. I, I don't really know that I would call it suspicious. I mean, I'm just saying that Justice Thomas has always marched to his own drum and uh, whatever that drum might there are be plenty of drum. other there are other circumstances throughout his long tenure there where he has been the only judge or maybe one of two mm-hmm. that did not agree he just has a judicial philosophy that does not agree with you know right most other judges in the mainstream now mm-hmm. and I, I i don't like his wife and i think that she's you know maybe hit her head hard or something and she'd get that looked at but i'm just saying that i I, you know i i if you know Mm -hmm. my company stands for diversity and inclusion and all this other stuff and you know if my Mm -hmm. wife is in the kkk then is my work gonna fire me now i mean Maybe well, no, I, just, I, 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 get, I don't know. I, no, I, mean, I think, you know I think you, have, you have a valid point there. Phil had his hand up. Yes, Phil. Yeah, it was uh, a friend of mine today uh, who listens to the show and probably hear this, uh, was telling me about Virginia Thomas. And there was about 29 uh, text to uh, the White House chief of staff to Mark, try to Mark overturn yeah. the 20, Mark Meadows to overturn the election. I wasn't aware of it before, but it's it's interesting, and I think Josh has a point. You know, if uh, you know my uh, significant other was uh, into some uh, unusual activity, as long as it wasn't unlawful, 
uh, then, you know, it has nothing to do with me. I think he probably should recuse himself from anything that has to do with uh, January 6th and Trump. Why? Why? Uh, because because it's suspicious. It, it just carries with it a certain amount yeah, of suspicion. So, but he's not personally involved. He didn't make tweets that said... No, no, or, no, that's not the point. That's not the point. He just should recuse himself from those cases so as to not appear to be biased and not to have any anything that might be suspicious. Uh, he's a judge. He should be able to, uh, to, to rule without bias. Yeah, but, but come on, Phil. It's, it's his job. We're talking about Clarence Thomas. Yeah, we're talking about somebody that's who, who finds pubic levels. hairs on Coke bottles. You know, this is the guy. Yeah, well, um, it's uh, no, it's Coke cans, but Coke cans, uh, okay. Uh, he he re he's reached this level. I think that he's professional enough to uh, look beyond what somebody else wants or doesn't want. Hmm. What do you what do you think, Josh, about that? I mean, about recusing himself in cases involving Trump and or July or or January sixth. You know, I, I don't know that I'm in favor of it because if if he starts recusing himself from anything where there's like that, I mean, then then he's saying to me, he's saying that I am compromised. But I mean, I don't, you know, I don't see where he falls into the category that he is. I mean, he's never spoken publicly about the election. He didn't attend the rally. He's never signaled support for the people in the room. I mean, he's never, I, I mean, I, I, he's quiet. He never says anything, you know, that, which is part of his mantra on the court. He doesn't ask a lot of questions. I mean, I, I'm just saying, I, if someone shows me some proof, uh, an email from him, uh, a recording where his wife is talking to Mark Meadows on the phone and he's in the background, mm -hmm, yeah, preach, you know, or something yeah. along those lines. I mean, I, I think that would change things, but until you, until you've seen any of that, I suppose that especially on the U.S. Supreme Court, I am going to lean towards a judge is not corrupted until you prove to me that he is. Okay. Because yeah. if he is, I think that that's a very poor and a very sad state of affairs for the U.S. Supreme Court. I think that he is in a world of his own with certain judicial philosophies. I don't like many of them. I'm, I think that his colleagues don't like them, but he's there and it's his right to use whatever logic he chooses mm -hmm. to decide. And that's what he operates by. I mean, you know, it's no different than any other I, know, wonder, I, wonder, I wonder, I wonder if he got home and just said, read things different ways, and that's kind of how it is. I, went, I wonder if today it, it, he, when he came home and his wife was there, he said, "I had to spend five days in the hospital to come home to this." Well, I mean, that's, yeah, I mean, and, you know, for for all the people that are saying that he must believe everything she believes, and you know, they're in cahoots. There is just as equally a 50-50 chance, right? It is just as equal that every time she does something like this, he goes, oh, my fucking God. You know, you, you know, I mean, yeah. you're killing me. Yeah. I mean, you know, how do we know that they're not at home tonight arguing where he is saying, shut you know, your goddamn mouth. you just shut up for like a day? <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think people are rolling their eyes at that because they hate him and that makes it easier to hate him. But how do we know that that's not what's happening there? <clears throat> now, maybe he did go home and be like, yeah, you scored one for our team tonight. Well, then you know what? He's a real piece of real piece of shit. And if, and if we can get some proof of that, I would be fine with trying to have him thrown off of the court because he will have violated every rule of decorum. Well, unfortunately, we can't, be a, we, stand we can't be a fly on but, that wall. You know, right. Yeah. But you know, but I, I haven't seen that. Now, look, if you show, I mean, it's not easy to defend someone you don't like, but I have to do it because I just think that I don't even know if I'm defending him. I'm just defending the idea of, yeah. you know, that I, I just don't, I mean, I get people don't like him, but I, I mean, 
we have to let that be what it is, you know? And I mean, I, I just, you know, the Washington Post is out tonight, like I said, with their editorials. I, I just read one, you know, this is this is a problem for the court. You know, the, the integrity of the court. Why? Why? I mean, I don't. Yeah. Like I said. Because he's a Supreme Court justice, and he's the only one you know? who voted against. He's the only one who voted in favor of Trump. Okay. And we need to know and what he knew. We need to know what he knew and when he knew it. Well, no, that, we now, need to know now, Ray, what he knew and when he knew it. Ray brings up a very Sorry. good point there, that we should know something about that. You know, was his decision made because his wife put the bug in his ear? We don't know, but I, I he, Ray makes a point here. You know, I mean, there's certain questions that have to be answered here. I mean, don't we want that court to be as honest as is humanly possible? And he should have recused I think, himself. I think they put their opinions out, and everything that you need to know is in their opinion. Mm -hmm. How they reach that, you know, as a group is as a group. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't you can't have that debated in an open forum. I mean, I understand that people think that you should, but you know, the, the reason that you can't debate that in an open forum is the same reason that the constitutional convention was closed to the press and closed to the public and was leak proof for, you know, 90 days because the framers understood that mm -hmm. we need to be able to talk openly and freely and float an idea without people going completely ape shit right after we do mm -hmm. and then we can't get in it's the same reason you know that we can't debate how to fix social security or something right now because as soon as someone says well do you think we should re raise the retirement age half of the country oh my god are you fucking crazy you know i mean they have to be able to go in a room and put things out and say what they have to say mm -hmm. and try to come to some conclusions i mean you know i'm for transparency in government but there are times when that should be limited. I mean, yeah. th there's not a camera in the situation room for a reason, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the way sometimes government has to work. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're not gonna have that access and I, I don't think we should. I mean, I, I, don't, I personally, I don't get the, the notion of what did he know and when did he know it. So, so what do you wanna do? Do you wanna, do you wanna subpoena his wife and ask her about yes. her personal conversations with her husband? Yeah, because no, there's no uh, spousal privilege to be uh, protected uh, there. I mean, what, what? Ray, Ray has something he wants to say here. I'm yes, sorry. Sir. If Clarence Thomas knew about these texts, he should have recused himself. We need to know if he knew about the text. We, you're the one who just said we need to be open and talk about things. We need to well, know. I, I don't I don't know why he would need to recuse himself if he did know about the text. How do you know he didn't know about the text and rolled his eyes and said, my wife's a nut job, but it has nothing to do with my work? Uh, it, it actually. I mean, I, okay. I go to well, work that, every day, and what my wife thinks or does, I, I don't. But you're not a Supreme Court justice. About, you know, you know, no, he, he he Ray does have a good point here when he says you're not a Supreme Court justice. I mean, we have to hold him to a it higher standard. It doesn't matter. Standard. I, I, I have oh, to sure make does. a decision about whether or not we should fire a guy who has five kids with three of them in college. And my 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 wife might say, "Man, you really got to give that guy a second chance. He's got five kids and three of them are in college. You can't." You can't fire him, baby. But we have an We're operation to, to run. Uh, we have talking about the third branch of the government. Uh, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, and, and you're your talking work. about a person's livelihood. I mean, one person, not the entire to, nation. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, Tony. Quit playing with okay. Zoom. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> also, look at the Republicans over the Hunter Biden thing. They went ape shit. If this was Joe Biden or some or a Democrat, they would be all over it. They would be forcing, trying to force him out. Yes, but we I mean, all sat here during that saga and said that was a ridiculous notion. At least I, I did. on this on this call, right? I understand I that. Mean, I'm just saying that was. This is just as stupid as that. Oh, I, oh, okay. Did you read the text? Did you True. hear the text? I've seen really? some you think of what was stupid? played in the news. I mean, listen. His wife's out to lunch. I, his I wife's know, but, a, his wife's a loony bin. There's no question. So I'm, not, I mean, I'm not saying Clarence Thomas should be impeached or anything like that. I just think that because of this this insurrection, which is 
something that hasn't happened in this country ever we need to know if one of our supreme court justices was trying to protect his wife or are you there but, but, but what evidence that he did that is present his wife sent some text messages not to him but to other parties not connected to him i mean so three weeks from now the supreme court issues a ruling that you don't like and there's a single justice that no. is the dissenting justice and so what are we going to do are we going to say how could he be the only one who didn't agree with the other eight no well, but this here came is up a after warrant the text. for your your phone and your computer and we want to take a look at it and see if okay. you were compromised well let, let's let but some that other, never let's... would have been an issue without the text from his to what? to the uh chief you're breaking up on us, Ray. Ray, they got him. See when he when he when he's walking down the street, we can't even see him because it's so dark right now out in California. I mean, I I understand the point there, but but he didn't send the text, and they weren't sent. To, I mean, I I still don't I don't care. I mean, I I don't care if his wife broke the law. I mean, he didn't. Okay. In the text, was she implying that she talked to her friend or something that was going to well, take well, care of her? Well, that, wait a minute. Also, wait a minute. That, that, that was a line sorry. she had. She said, I was talking to a friend, my my best friend, my friend. today. And, and that they is call the each w- other best friend in public all the time. Yeah. Oh, well, You can find it everywhere. I, I, I hope we start prosecuting people with this type of evidence in, a, in our in our court system. Because not prosecuting, we're all going to be end up in jail for something. I don't say prosecuting it took... Gee, I got I gotta stop. Sorry. No, don't don't get all upset. <laughs> I I don't say prosecute, but I say something has to be at least said or or, or looked into something. I think it should be investigated. You know, so well, if, I if, mean, if, I'm if, just saying I'll remember that when someone on this. No, panel no, but I think it should be. I should be. For, I should be. You know, I think it should. Innuendo be. one of these days. I mean, it, it's just I, not. I, I, I mean, think, we have rules of evidence and 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 order in this nation, and yeah, but, but wait a minute. You want to hold, subvert hold, hold it because you don't like this. I person. think it should be investigated for two reasons. Number one, for the benefit of Clarence Thomas, so that he is not under suspicion if it turns out to not be a problem and 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 also for our own peace of mind that we have a man there who is acting on his own yeah what are you holding up phil clarence is guilty i am going to try him and convict him because i am now judge jury and executioner on the contra costa district attorney's restorative justice program oh, okay fine, so, fine fine i tell him when nobody's not saying anything and when that. they're not Mute him. Yeah, yeah, mute him. Yeah. yeah. So I'm the closest thing here to a judge. No one's saying anything like that. <laughs> You're not even close, Phil. That's scary. You're not even close. Well, if there's a misdemeanor or infraction, I get to decide. Yeah, and I, uh, you know, I was mayor of uh, Emeryville for a day. So you yeah, know, come I know on. you were. Yeah. They give you the key to the city. They did, but I had to go and dig it up from the muck and mire in the swamp. To go get yeah. it, but you know. I was mayor of Sunnyvale when I was a Boy Scout for a day. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I have a newspaper. Yeah. 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 I got to vote on some stuff and everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I was. I was actually. I don't mayor, even know how I, that happened. I was a mayor. I wrote an essay or something. Yeah. I was mayor of Emeryville for a day until they impeached me. You know. So. Uh, by the way, I want to ask uh, Brian something. This is a very important question. Here we're talking about weighty political questions and i'm going to throw in a really stupid question what is you eat you, every time i see you you're sucking on a keto bar yes okay which i turned you on to and we both agree is absolutely yummy yes okay what's the best part about it the chocolate or the or the ice cream itself the chocolate first the chocolate because i chip it off mm-hmm. and then I let the ice cream sort of sit a little bit, and that's really soft. Yes, yes. No. Yeah, I, oh, I, I we, we take ours, we take them out of the freezer, and we put them on the, on the sink counter for about seven minutes. I think oh, yeah, yeah. That's the best yeah. amount. And then they're just right. Yeah. It just melts a little bit, and uh, it just melts in your mouth. The yeah, only thing that we have a problem with is that when we do bite into it, the, the chocolate flakes off very easily. 
That's why I picked the chocolate off first. So that, very smart. I have to mention that to Marjorie that we yeah, the, do that. The only bad thing about it is I want to eat like four of those oh. tonight. <laughs> back, back to heady topics. I came up with a, a, a thing Biden should do, okay? Uh, if he wants to take his rating from what is it right now? On the 43 or something dumper. like that? Huh? In the dumper. <laughs> Well, forty-three or whatever, I could I could literally change it for him overnight to where he'd be up in the sixties or seventies. Stop robocalls. No. Oh, stop robocalls. If he stopped robocalls, no, he'd be a hero. He where is he right now tonight? Poland. Uh, he's in uh, uh, in his uh, place in hold up in Delaware. No, he's no. In He's in, he's in Poland. Oh no, no, he's uh, he's in, that's right. He's, he's in, in Brussels. He's in no, he's in Poland. Yeah, yeah. I thought Poland. he was in Brussels. No, he's in Poland, and he's about a mile away from the Ukrainian border. You know what okay. I would do? I would take his best uh, uh, best black suit ops, get in a car, and go over the border and go meet with Walensky. I think if he did that. He doesn't have to announce it. He can do it and then show the video of it afterwards. But if he did that, how do you think his approval rating would? You know, you're right. That would, would be fair. a good thing. That'd be like a movie type. Go down and in Russia. I think, I think at the end of the day, everybody's looking at the inflation, and that's where they're gonna they're gonna but choose. But don't you think that would help his numbers a great deal? No, I don't know. If the gas pumps stay where they are, if the wood I just went to get wood is outrageous still. But you know, all, all he, these things, he, if the inflation stays at where it is, and you know, raises are going three percent, inflation is going seven percent. I mean, math doesn't add up. But all the inflation that's happening, none of it's really his doing. It's not something all that happened. Doing, but, but, no, but, it's not. But, he, but he's the. But where's the plan to get out of it? Hmm? Where's the plan to get out of it? I'm with yeah. Brian. We got we got bigger problems than him going into Ukraine shaking. If he out. did that, it would change the perception of him a great deal. I disagree. Well, you're wrong. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> you're wrong. What do you think, Ray? Do I have any kind of an idea? I I, I, I think it would help him. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I also I, know for sure that he has nothing to do with the gas prices and the inflation started before he got in office. I know, but. Uh, I know, but I know you're right. People will blame him. I but think we all he could agree do like a George Ray. Bush mission accomplished. What? I think we all agree with you, Ray. But yeah, he, I don't. What Alex is saying, he's not talking about all. He's saying that if he goes into Ukraine no. and shakes hands, that his numbers will go higher. His yes, numbers. they will. I, what, what else I think could they'll they? go up a little bit. I do, yeah. A little How did bit that help up. when uh, Trump went over the border to Kim Jong-il <laughs> and uh, shook his hand? He didn't go yeah, over the. With he yeah, didn't go love over love the border. He stepped over the border. <laughs> Same thing. About with his one, spurs, with his bad bone spurs. With his bone spurs. <laughs> he, he, and they if, fell in love. If, if he takes the ops team and go takes out Putin and then shows a video, yes, oh, then yeah. he'll win everybody. In the Rambo world. president. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, but I, it, you know, I mean, I think that uh, I just think that I would like to see him as a president show some balls okay yes he's in poland well they, well, no, that's, they, they, that's not balls mm -hmm. you know i mean being in brussels i love all those guys at the at the uh at nato they're sitting around they're deciding about oh what can we do about ukraine what can we do about ukraine and uh oh well wait a minute isn't this a lovely buffet we have here <laughs> you know i mean come on you know, roll, yeah. take off those suits and roll up your sleeves and God damn yeah. it, do something. I agree. People I are I... being demolished. People are being killed. Uh, uh, and and uh, while the uh, Ukrainians are doing very well, I mean, they're doing exceedingly well. They're not going to be able to sustain. No, yeah, I, I, I think they will. I think, I think already, I think will too. already it looks like uh, Putin's trying to find a way out of it by saying, well, we've got the southeastern part of the country, which they always had anyway. Because He's not going to give up. Yeah, but the bully, the bully just keeps going and going, I think. Mm -hmm. He hasn't met any with any resistance from the rest of the world. Nope. Nothing that's going to uh, make it. Well, make I think it's time we should started uh, handing his hat to him. I well, just, if yeah. that happened, uh, it would escalate it. Well, yeah. so it escalates it. 
So it escalates it. We're, we're, we, 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 mm -hmm. Why did we say we were going into uh, uh, Iraq again? I think as a humanitarian uh, mission, didn't we say that? Weapons of mass destruction. Yes, but we were going in there for humanitarian reasons. Well, we can't go in for humanitarian reasons for a country that's being completely demolished? Uh, uh, it wasn't, Ukrainian. was it Russia that was uh, in, in uh, the, the last country before this that you talked about? Syria? Syria? Yeah. Oh, what, what was the country that you mentioned right before? Crimea? No, no. Poland? No. No. Well, what are you what are you looking for? You I don't know. We we was Saddam Hussein. Where where, where was he from? That's Iraq. Iraq. Yeah, they the, one they weren't nuclear, and two, you know, uh, we went in there for humanitarian reasons. Okay. Colin yeah. Powell Powell. I don't. Said I don't two agree. Weeks. With, I don't agree that. We Colin Powell said to the world that they were two weeks away from a nuclear weapon. Nuclear. Yeah, but you know they don't know anything, and you can't even and, say and, nuclear. And they right? were they weren't even close to a nuclear weapon. Uh, that's what Colin Powell. Told I don't the give world. a shit what Qu Colin. Colin he had Powell. A lot of, no, he, Colin he Powell. Can't Colin, Colin he Powell. Can't Colin wait a minute, hold on a second. That's what he was telling the UN, and he went in there and even showed him this little vial of you know whatever. Oh, yeah, and, and, and yellow cake uranium. Uh, yellow cake uranium. <laughs> and uh, later on, Powell said that was the most embarrassing moment of his life because he was told to go in there and say that, and it was a lie. That's what Colin did Powell it. said. He insulted. He did it. And I don't know if he knew it was a lie or not. He might not have known. And I, I would give him enough credit to say he probably didn't know. But he did it, and the world believed it, and therefore we all, were all in Iraq. I'm saying, well, okay, I mean, let's go into any other, a number of other countries where we've gone in saying we're going in for humanitarian reasons. And and uh, 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 we've gone in, and we do that sort of thing. Terrific, you know, that's our way of doing stuff. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we don't hold the same truth to be self-evident in this case. And this is a case where people are genuinely being slaughtered. I mean, who was the English guy that wanted to do nothing against Hitler? Uh, Chamberlain. Chamberlain. He, well, he well, he, he said he, he said he had he had Hitler's assurance, blah 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 blah. So maybe mm -hmm. Biden is the new Chamberlain. No, I don't think he's the new Chamberlain, mm -hmm. but I I I don't think he's the new anything. I think he's just uh, uh, a person who I quite frankly feel is it, it, the only way to handle this and the only way to stop Putin from doing this ever again is to go in there and say you can't do this ever again. And I don't think it's going to cause a nuclear war because I don't think that's what Putin wants because he doesn't have the nuclear capability to beat NATO. I don't. It doesn't matter. It's called mutual assured destruction. He's got 6,000 warheads. How that's many right. does he need? That's right. Well, how many How many are actually going to get launched? How many generals are going to say, you know... One's enough, six, especially if it hits Harlem. Seven, <laughs> seven, It'll be the end of the show. <laughs> hey, well, that that's fine with me. If I have to die for this cause, it's a worthy cause. All right. Well, the rest of us, I don't think, agree with you. Yeah. Well, you know. Oh, um, I, I just want to interject. And there are not this many topic. things I'm willing to die for, but th that yeah. I'm willing to die for. Yeah. I don't uh, think he's going to try shooting a single nuclear weapon. I think he's using that to bully us. <laughs> And to make us think, oh, we can't do it because it might be World War Three. Well, we've all, we're already up to World War Two point seven. Another three tenths can't hurt us. Big Al, he's already used uh, biological weapons in Syria. Mm -hmm. What makes you think he's not going to he use them in Ukraine? I think yeah. he will use them in Ukraine, unless we Good stop. Enough. Unless we stop him now. And and uh, what about these uh, cluster bombs that are nuclear? Uh, you know, the cluster uh, bombs aren't nuclear. No, they have these bombs there. They come in at a fairly, but they're low not, they're not nuclear, Phil. You said they nuclear. can be. No, they, they aren't. They aren't, but they, and they're, but they're, they are banned. Yeah, they are, no, they, they're not. They are banned by the Geneva Conventions, however. Well, so are chemical weapons, but he used those. Well, of course, <laughs> but we, we can't let him do any of this. I but, think that if we don't stand up to him now, He's going to think he can go anywhere he wants and get away with this because we're all going to be afraid of World War fucking three. And we are. We are. 
Well, we shouldn't be. Yippee yeah. ki yay. Yippee ki yay, Shecky. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Ray just texted me and he said uh, that I should tell you that he had to hang up because he had to deal with, uh, he's sorry, he had to deal with some stuff in their house. Oh. Hey, by the way, if anybody's trying to go over to my website, you know, yeah. which is gabnet.net, I don't know what's wrong with it tonight, but a, a combination yeah. of things have been causing it to be all screwy. And it works better if you use Safari than if you use. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, if you use uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Microsoft, Safari, if you use Safari instead, and even the Microsoft, it works better. Uh, less things come up on it. I, I don't know what the problem is tonight. I think the 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 uh, uh, what do you call it? The on-demand stuff is being served by a company that I hire to run this, run to run those files, and I think they're down or not working right or something because it's screwed up on their site too so yeah you know, um, uh, just in a lighter note mm -hmm. um alan uh, tony is uh, tony alan's not dead or actually he he he's recouped we so go he's hit this by the now. train he's he was hit by a train today that's why he can't unblock you but he he's miraculously uh come to life again so <laughs> So he's got to be, he doesn't need Alan anymore. <laughs> oh, he's got you? Yeah. He wants them all. He wants this world is, this domination. Is this is Phil's sign. Yeah. Uh, what Tony wants is world domination <laughs> when it comes to... Uh, Alex, uh, I thought, I thought you're not that, dominant. Wait, 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 okay. What, what, what do you want to say, uh, I say, Brian? I thought you thought that they weren't going to... Uh, he wouldn't invade. That's invade. what he said. I said he was going I thought, to invade. Well, I thought, I, later. I, I thought he wouldn't invade because I thought it was a, a stupid idea, and I didn't uh, uh, assume he was as stupid as he just turned out to be. It's, <laughs> it's turned out to be a very bad move on his part because yeah. he, he did not understand that you don't go into a country where people are going to have to defend themselves, right. no matter what your might, you, your imagined might is. Plus, he didn't think ahead. I mean, these people all drove their tanks in, and then all of a sudden there was no food for them, no gas, no supplies, nothing. And so uh, Edo, 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 Edo is Edo. thinking ahead. Hmm? And did you see today? Edo is thinking ahead. And did you see today, or yesterday, uh, <coughs> the uh, Ukrainians blew up a ship? You know? Good uh, for them. Yeah. But it's, it, you know, I mean, the and they say that there is estimated that anywhere between, I think it's 12 and 17,000 Russians are dead. As I think that's this. about 10 percent of uh, uh, the force that's no, in that the force, country. Now. The force they had it was, a, I think, 150,000. I don't know if all of them are in the country. Might be 190 at this point. But that's not the one tenth. And, and if Belarus uh, comes in from the south, is it? Uh, then, then uh, that, that's going to be a lot more troops that uh, Ukraine has to fight on multiple I'm fronts. I'm still saying that I think that he's going to have his hat handed to him. And I think that the best way to do it is, number one, we've got to get him all the stuff he needs, you know, all, uh, all the weapons that they need. But I think they could use uh, a little assistance militarily, too. And I, I, just, I just think that they're, you know, what we do is we go in there citing the Geneva Conventions, plain and simple, which is for humanitarian purposes. If he takes Ukraine, just give him Ukraine. He won't want anything else. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I, that's, that's what they said uh, to Hitler. Yeah. Yeah, uh, did, oh, Czechoslovakia, yeah. let him have it. You know, it's, you isn't know. that what we said in 2016? Give Trump uh, Georgia. He won't take anything else. And look what happened. Yeah. By the way, Zoom has been freezing up a little bit the last couple of nights. Have you noticed that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I couldn't get in tonight. I could watch the show, but I couldn't get in on Zoom. Why? Last night. Last night was different. Tony blocked you. Yeah. No. Why couldn't you get in on Zoom? Uh, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. It can, wouldn't connect to you. Well, then how did you know. get in here? Uh, uh, well, on Zoom, finally. He opened the door. He got. I in. rebooted the computer. I reset oh. the VPN. Uh, all that stuff, and finally, it worked. 
So I, maybe, I direct yeah. wired my computer to the, uh, not to the switch, to the uh, router. Yeah. Uh, uh, and my speed went up to like 700 something uh, down, but still the same 32 up. Yeah, we've been telling we've been telling you to do that for months. Well, I did it. Okay, good. I'm proud of you. I'll send you a brownie. Oh, yeah. That'll go good with your speed. Uh, diet brownie. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, so uh, you have opinion on any of this, Josh, or are you just uh, tired of hearing about the Ukraine? About Ukraine? I mean, I don't know that I'm tired of hearing about it. I mean, I think that the countries of NATO have an opportunity to probably break Putin's back and they're not going to take it. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're really not doing much of anything. If you ask me, who I think Na they're talking like they're doing a lot so they can look good. So they can feel good. NATO. Yeah. But in reality, I don't, I don't think that they're doing. A what lot. do you, what do you think? What would a lot Come be? On, what, what would you blow up buildings huh? all over the place? Yeah. What, what, what do you think that NATO should do? I would be perfectly fine with helping them in any way possible to kill any fucking Russian they can find in Ukraine, period. And I think the Ukrainians need to stop wasting their time taking Russian fucking prisoners, and they need to start eliminating any Russian they can find. I, I mean, the, think the dirtier they get, too. and the nastier they get, and the harder they go, that's the only way the Russians are going to understand. Well, there are a lot of Russians. There, there was they they intercepted some um, um, uh, communications uh, with people on the ground there, Russians on the ground in Russian command. Mm -hmm. And one guy was talking to another and saying, "How is it?" And he says, "It's hell down here." And he said, "Well, you know, it'd be better to be a uh, to be a um, what's the word when you when you just kind of." quit and go to the other side uh republicans? No. <laughs> yeah republicans uh then to, it, it, better to be uh, considered a coward than fertilizer yeah. you know and and yes. i he, they seem to think that the russians a lot of them are starting to defect that's it. it's better that, to defect than to be fertilizer and uh i think that uh i think that's a good assessment i think a lot of russians are starting to feel that way I mean, they're, 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 to begin with, they, then they need to, then they need to handle that. But, you they, know, they didn't I mean, think, they, well, what, they, if, what if everything stops today? Everything stops. He retreats it and, and everything stops. I mean, what accountability does he have for all the stuff that he's done already? He does, he, there he none. none. Well, well, I mean, what then? How do we, what do we do to do something where he is held accountable? Uh, we we deal with China, we deal with India, wait, wait, and wait, all the wait, other wait, countries wait, no, no, that no, are supporting no, him. No, no, hold on, hold on, Phil. You know you're you're going off topic there. That's that no. Gets to be uh, you situation. said, what do we do to make sure that something gets done? It, Nothing's going to get there done. There is no well. evidence that China is helping him. There's no. Uh, uh, it was an agreement. No, no, there wasn't an agreement, Phil. No. What agreement? Find me an agreement. Okay, I'll find you the agreement. All yeah. right. And don't find it from one of your right wing I mean, sources. Find one from a news source. I mean, you know, like I said, if if you think what, what, you know, what, if you think Putin is hard nosed and is never going to give up, I mean, you know, Stalin was certainly hard nosed and was never going to give up even more so than that. And like I said, when when they tried to invade the Finns in 1940, the Finns said, I'm "Not going to have it." Yeah. I mean. They killed every Russian they could find. What, I, like what, I, I, I'm what, what was you, the case when they you know? made they made all the Jews wear stars in I think it was Finland, Denmark, or, or Denmark, and the king of Denmark started wearing a Jewish star, and everybody in the country put on Jewish stars and drove the Nazis nuts. You know, I mean, you uh, know it's just, I mean, okay. I would be fine with committing to. Mm -hmm. Uh, American fighters shooting down Russian fighters. Yes, I mean, I, I, why don't we? Why don't we? You can't use arsenal. your, you know, arsenal. Then yeah. why don't we? Send Phil, Phil is forces? now going to regale us with the, what he found. <laughs> okay, this is the New Yorker. I don't know if the New Yorker is left wing, right wing. Mm -hmm. February seventh, twenty twenty two. February seventh. That's, that's how many months ago? February. That's two months. It's before he invaded. Mm -hmm. Right. 
It was before he invaded for a very good mm -hmm. reason. In a new agreement, Russia in turn reaffirmed its support for Beijing's one child, uh, one one uh, one China policy, and in a inalienable. Uh, shit, I can't. What I'm is Beijing? About Phil, so far it doesn't say anything about. Mm -hmm. Ba yeah, uh, 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 new era in the global order yeah, and yeah, short term yeah. re their respective territorial ambitions in Ukraine. Uh, so anyway, they have a, a an agreement and an agreement and, to do what in kind to support one another. Um, uh, it doesn't sound a much. A friendship no, between Phil, the two Phil, states. Phil, Phil, hold on, hold it. A French. You're a friendship between the two states yeah. with no limits. Okay. No limits. Yeah, but that doesn't say anything. That's just that's well, just that's like their agreement. No, that's it, just like one of those boilerplate kumbaya. Uh, what does no limits mean? Bill, my friendship with you has no limits. Mm -hmm. I know that, and I appreciate it. You are loved beyond no limit. <laughs> What's the agreement? I don't understand the agreement. The agreement was uh, that it would uh, it would be a cornerstone of global power. Uh, uh, and wait a minute, let, let me find the uh, thing. In the short in the short term, they endorse the respective territorial ambitions in Ukraine and Taiwan. So. Oh, 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 okay. 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 There you in go. Taiwan now. See, Taiwan. what, they, what China, they were doing was China saying... China gets Russia's support no, what, for them no. taking Taiwan. Just their vision. And Russia they're, they're gets vote, they're China's vote. support That's, uh, in, uh, what kind of with support? no limits. What, what kind of support? What kind of support? What, uh, no limit support. Well, I no, guess what's China? no limit support? You see, what well, well, all, all that they were doing was... Okay, China they were going to buy China, four Listen to me. Listen to me, Phil. Listen to me without joking. What 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 happened here is that they have ambitions on Taiwan, and so Russia agreed that they would agree with their ambitions on Taiwan, and they would agree with their ambitions on Ukraine. Beyond yes, that, the, you're not. You said they were giving them aid, and that yes, is not what that was about. No, the friendship between the two states has no limits. They <laughs> vowed in a communique released released after the two leaders met on the yeah, eve of uh, the you're, 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 you're Winter Olympics. You're bumpering around Brown with it. And, and it says there are no forbidden areas of cooperation. No forbidden areas of cooperation. What does that mean, Phil? What does that mean? It means uh, they're cooperating. Uh, <laughs> Phil, you're wrong. You're dead yeah, wrong. Okay. Dead wrong. Anyway, yeah. and India uh, gets munitions from them, so they owe them something back. Anyway, uh, listen, uh, mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't mean they're going to supply uh troops or anything like that we gotta go hey josh good talking to you tonight there we go we just froze up again for a second uh mm -hmm. thank you josh and thank you phil and thank you brian and thank you tony and thank you alan and thanks also to uh, uh to uh, our good friend jeff um all of you um i try yeah big but give a big wave goodbye i'll give a big wave goodbye back at you okay there they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Oh boy, what a what a what a yelling and screaming session that was. Okay, well that happens. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of them here. Hold on a second. Oh, there we go. Okay, so who knows what the what happened there? Anyway, I'll see you again. Uh, let's see on Monday at. Uh, four o'clock in the afternoon on facebook with our pop-up show and then we'll be back here on uh wednesday night 10 30 same time same station in life and in the meantime as always if you see her tell her i love her okay bye-bye everybody have a good night have a good weekend